Yo guys, what's up? It's Tyrant and Pax here once again for another Frame Advantage video. The Tokyo Game Show was this weekend and Capcom did a quick little presentation showing us uh, some preview stuff for Dan. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man, new new content for Street Fighter Five. It's always welcome. Let's take a quick look and uh, see what we think about Dan here. Yeah, let's take a look. Okay, so they're going to start off with the uh, normals and stuff. Mm -hmm. You know, as expected. So this is nice. Yeah, you know. the, the animation looks good. He, he actually looks good and animated. You know what? Like a lot of the animations in Street Fighter Five, if you actually let let it rock after the animation ends, yeah, you get some nice little little extra stuff. Like Cody has that. I'm sure yeah, you know yeah, about. Yeah, yeah. But it's it's nice, but you hardly ever get to see it. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's just like a little thing they put in. But yeah, it, but it's still it's still nice to know that there, there's some level of attention to detail. You know, his sweep actually looks pretty good. Yeah, it looks a bit slow though. Yeah, it's got good range though. So it looks like he does have an overhead. That is so slow. Yeah, that looks very slow. It's, it's gonna hit somebody. That looks like a good anti air that was all. Is that his stand heavy kick? I think that these are command normals because he went through all the normals here. Oh yeah, that might be like a, a forward heavy kick or a back heavy kick. He had the command hard kick in SF4 that was like one of his best buttons. Um, I wonder if that is gonna be the replacement for that. That's a good walk speed though. Yeah. The throw looks dead, can't lie. That looks so bad. That is so bad. <laughs> So in the beta footage, that left him point blank. Like there was gonna be, yeah, there yeah. was gonna be some throw loop nonsense, but it looks like they took that away, and now he just throws you pretty far, kind of like Cody back throw. Man actually got nerfed, and he's not even out yet. Yeah, he got. <laughs> he's not even out, and he got nerfed. Alright, special moves, and he's got the same Koryokin that he has to charge up now that he can make it go full screen. That looks. Yeah. Is that Tiger knee? Looks ridiculous. Or what's it called? Hippie kick, yeah. kick or something like that. What's it called? So the Dan Kyukyaku. Everyone just calls him the Dan Kicks. But like, yeah, that yeah. was one of his best tools in Street Fighter 4. Because you could frame trap with it. That they were like super good on block. Yeah, yeah. Depending on the frame there, that light one might be pretty ridiculous. There we go. The DP looks alright. That looks clean. Yeah, the DP. His DP's always been quite good. And what's that? It's like, it's just like a, um, a Seth, Seth kind of move. <laughs> But depend, yeah. uh, all, all it all depends on if it's safe or not, you know. If they're safe, if it's not safe, mm. then it might be, it might be something that you can, like like he might be able to chip you down. It might be one of them ones where he is unsafe but it's spaced, and then he can do them buffer like yeah. buffer mind games behind it and stuff like that. This one looks more like a combo tool. Yeah, the ender. Yeah, exactly. The ender or like mid combo. So it doesn't tell you which V skill it is yet. We don't know what his V skill one and V skill two will be, but this looks really cool because bro that's two dps in one combo yeah. that is like fadc that's sick so roll boom and then another dp that looks so sick I'm, i love that i'm guessing it's gonna be like a, um a on on hit only or something like that i can't or, or maybe yeah. or maybe it does work on block but it'll just be minus a lot you know and it looks like you can do one backwards as well so it looks like if it you know you can even go backwards on it um which we'll if, if you can go backwards that's that's pretty cheap <laughs> yeah it definitely looks like there's going to be some interesting juggle tools here so you can see he does it from the dp into another dp i want to see if he can do it from like fireballs or like yeah he, or even if mid-screen you don't even do another follow-up dp you just use it for the oki you know maybe yeah yeah yeah, maybe that might yeah. and if that's the case then his anti airs into his anti airs might do a lot of damage if that's the case Oh, so here we go, juggle them up, and then the Dan kicks after. Okay, Dan, that looks Look at the corner like carry. A, I know, and it looks like it might actually have some good frame advantage here after the the, the Dan yeah, kicks. Yeah, yeah, Because he's right on top of you. Know, he could definitely dash after that, yeah. But look how that, that, that sent you quite far. Yeah, that does send you really mid screen all the way to the corner. Literally in the corner, man. Okay, so here we go. So this is the taunts. Uh. I mean, we all know Dan's yeah. always about the, these taunts. Like, they don't do anything. They, it's not like First Strike where taunts. Yeah, I was, I was wondering if they, if they did something. Maybe they do something, but I, I don't know. They they did say on, on the uh, presentation that there are some some hidden inputs for the taunts as well. And they're looking forward to seeing what the players come up with. Because, you know, he had like a jump taunt before yeah. that could like hit you at the air. And you could get resets and stuff, yeah, yeah, yeah. which was interesting. So he actually has a super taunt as well, which he had from SF4, which allowed him oh, to... Oh, uh, Yeah, that's it here. Okay. <laughs> and so they, they don't show all of it. Yeah, um, and then he'll be able to cancel it to something else maybe. Again, we could go back to SF4 because that's what we can reference. Yeah. Here. Uh, he could do this and then cancel it immediately into Ultra or anything. Yeah, basically a character. Uh, so you could basically like cancel into Ultra, like pseudo cancel into Ultra. Overall, they didn't really show too much, so they are keeping some stuff back. Yeah. Um, but we we have we have seen that they are definitely doing like some kind of tests and stuff on the character because that back throw, uh, they had to take that out quickly. <laughs> they didn't show any like crush counters or anything, so like we literally didn't see 
almost like the basic things. Showing the normals without showing them on block and stuff isn't as useful as just whiffing them. Because they're probably still balancing the character and finishing the character yeah, yeah. off. They probably don't have that much more to go on. I mean, at least we saw the character in motion. And it's not filmed with a camera on the telly. Like, <laughs> that was that was trash. <laughs> but yeah. All right, guys. So that's going to be us out of here for now. Thanks so much for the support as of late. And stay safe. We'll see you in the next video, guys. Peace out, guys.